Can three Shadow Strikers change the course of Aston Villa's season? Let's check it out. This one is called the Triple SSS Spalletti. It is also called the Spalletti 4231 n triple s s s s s s s s anyway uh it is by someone called delicious the assembler i don't know if that's delicious story or someone else but the only description in the on the page that i got this from there is a video so take a look at that if you want a little bit more information but it says here is an adaption of spalletti's roma's first era was tested more than forty thousand times with multiple variations on roles, etc. You can check my website for that and it gives a, a link there. But we're gonna check it out with our three teams of Liverpool, Aston Villa, and our championship side of Ipswich Town in just a minute. But this is the standard formation. You can see a little bit of a change from a normal 4-2-3-1, but let's check it out how it did for our three teams. Well, as you can see, yes, it did change the course of Aston Villa's season. They are championships of England right now, 89 points, 107 goals for. I don't think I've seen Aston Villa at the tops of the Premier League table. I mean, if if I'm wrong, I just am a forgetful person. But Aston Villa winning the league, Liverpool coming in second, 87 points, 99 goals. Pretty nicely done by both teams. So since Aston Villa won the league, they get to go first this time around. Losing out in the EFL Cup semifinals against Tottenham, nil two. Unfortunately, a two one victory at home does not see them through. And then against Sunderland, interesting in the FA Cup quarterfinals, two four in extras. Trophy number two comes against Olympiacos. We've seen them again. Conference League final, three two in extras. Well done. Two trophies this season. So Premier League, Aston Villa, check. Europa Conference League, check. Emirates FA Cup and Carabao Cup, yeah. You're knocked out in the semis and the quarters, but still. I mean, these two are big ones. So now I definitely expect big things here. 35 goals for Jacob Ramsey. 35 for Ollie Watkins. 25 for Diaby. Now that's a top three. Very well done season. Uh, Matty Cash with 22 assists. Dinier with 20. We've seen Dinier with better, but still. Great numbers there. 772 for Jacob Ramsey in 53 plus two appearances. That's insane. I'm just taking a look at him. You can see he was the Conference League player of the season, Conference League Golden Boot runner up, Conference League Young Player of the Season, English Players Young Player of the Year. He had a fantastic season. One to take a look at in the Shadow Striker role, maybe. But now, how did Liverpool do this season? Well, unfortunately, Tottenham beating them in the FA Cup fourth round, nil one, but you get them back in the AFL Cup Final 3-0. You got a trophy. Can we make it two? Well, a second trophy right there. The Europa League Final against Ajax 4-0. You kick the crap out of Italian teams all throughout. Lazio, Atalanta, and Roma getting to Ajax and then beating. That's a handy victory right there. So Premier League, second place. Still not too bad. Uh, Europa League win. FA Cup, yeah, you're knocked out in the fourth round. But Carabao Cup win. Fantastic season. And as always, I'm looking for good things from here. 30 goals for Salah. Nunez with 26, 24 for Sobazlai. A fantastic top three right there. Sobazlai with 22 assists. Gakpo with 18. Average rating 7.46 for Sobazlai. Yeah, I mean, overall, great stats. Now, you can't beat that 7.72 of Ramsey, though, can you? Aston Villa's data hub starting to look like Liverpool as you can see attacking through and through defending very well as well as we've been seeing Liverpool throwing in that fouls against per game but everything really top marks this one's going to be a battle but Aston Villa's Premier League stats getting 107 goals Liverpool in second with 99 Man City all the way down with 87 fewest shots both are in there but Aston Villa in seventh place here most possession Liverpool's 56 that's pretty average uh, sixth place for most dribbles made, most tackles, nobody, best pass completion, nobody, most shots for though, Liverpool tops them, 761, wow, to 703, they were not lucky. Now we've seen Aston Villa come tops of the league, Liverpool in second, how did our championship side of Ipswich do? Well, as you can see, they topped the league as well, 107 points, 137 goals, no one else breaking that triple digit mark, that is amazing. Clearly, domestic cups were not in their forte. They just did not do very well at all. But championship win, that is huge. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, yeah, you can put that on the side. But they get Premier League next season. And the squad that got them there, 33 goals for George Hurst. Now that's where I want to see him. 26 for Chaplin, Broadhead with 24. That's a great pairing right there. 27 assists for Leaf Davis is fantastic as well. 763 for Broadhead. That is a fantastic mark for him. 
Stats wise, most goals, Ipswich Town with 137. Even after promotion spots in the playoff run, you did not get, I mean, Leicester did not get above a triple digit. So you got clear winners with Ipswich Town, fewer shots against Liverpool, I mean, sorry, Ipswich Town in third, most possession all the way down in sixth. Uh, most dribbles, I mean, we saw the other teams do the same. No tackles, no pla- best pass completion, most shots for clearly ahead of all the others. So let's take a look at this monster tactic itself. You can see it starts with a sweeper keeper in defend. Obviously, right off the bat, individual player instructions, so check that out. Wingbacks on the left and the right in attack. Ball playing defenders in the central spots in defend. Segundo Volantes in the midfield line or just below. Shadow strikers in attack all the way across. You do have some stay wider, tackle harder. So take a look at those. Advance forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality, in possession, attacking with is fairly wide. Approach play is pass into space. Overlap on the left and right and focus play down the left and right. Passing directness is shorter. Tempo is higher. Low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter it, distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line. Trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in and step up more. Now, clearly, this tactic worked wonders for all three teams. There is no question about it. Liverpool, Aston Villa doing very well. Aston Villa getting tops is fantastic. Ipswich Town getting tops is a fantastic mark. So all three teams, I mean, kudos. You can't get better than this. But that is it for me, Sefian FM, for the Football Manager Blog Channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.